gosh. Seriously, why is my workbench always a mess? that time again it's time to work on the bike I have homestead next weekend so I can get the bike ready to go so I got my ECU flashed um, by TT Motorsports lots of uh, benefits to be gained from flashing ECU uh, which I might cover in my video while I'm at the track uh, because you know that's where I'm gonna test it so I'm gonna put this in then I'm gonna do my oil change and then toss my chain and oh another thing I want to do was to do another GoPro mount on, that's facing backwards, you know, or I could use towards the back of my bike because my tail doesn't have the subframe, so you know, all the all the video just seems really shaky. So let's go ahead and get this installed. This is my first time putting in the ECU. Let's see how it goes. Does it work? commented on my oil change procedure and said that a good way to keep the oil off the off the exhaust pipe because it always seems to get on there is to use a piece of aluminum foil. This is probably bigger than what you really need. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. Ah, it's hot. Another thing that I did was leave the front stand on and I'm gonna lower it after I start draining the oil. And let's hope, let's hope that uh, oil didn't splurt, doesn't splurt out and hit me on the leg like it did last time. Whoa! Son of a... Be careful. Oil could just splurt out like this. Got it all over myself. Damn it. Here we go. Alright, that seemed to work pretty well actually. I'm gonna install one of these Moto D Racing Magnetic Drain Bolt. This is pre-drilled for safety wire. I'm gonna install one of these clips on there. That way I don't have to safety wire everything all over again every time. Come on. What's really cool is they actually include one of these uh, these washers. There's a magnet at the very tip. So if there's any shavings, you know, due to the natural friction of metal on metal parts, uh, they get caught by this bolt instead of going back in the engine and potentially causing some other issues. Going ahead and put this on. Any of the big reputable engine builders will tell you that the only way to go is with a stock oil filter. Um, the, the other ones like the K&N or whatever, they say it just filters too much and there's not enough, there's just not enough, you know, it basically restricts the oil pressure and it starves your engine of oil, which is real bad. So oil, new oil filter right here. What we got to do first is prep the oil filter and pour some oil in here. Oh, fill it up. I'm gonna to touch my finger, some oil, and just go over the seal. You don't need to fill it up all the way so that it's completely full. Just prep it, you know, just pour a couple times in there so that, you know, the, the paper seeps in that oil. And then just hand tighten it. Hand tighten it. Don't use any tools to tighten it. You don't need to. Put the clamp back on with the safety wire on it. And let's tighten it back up. Uh, now that's all that's left is to, as far as oil change goes, is to, is to fill it back up with oil.
have over a millimeter, or not a millimeter, an inch of play, you want like play in your chain because um, your swing arm flex, you know, basically your swing arm moves up and down. And as it moves up and down, it'll flex this chain. If it's too tight, your suspension, your rear suspension can't do what it's designed to do. I'm gonna be checking to make sure it's straight with, with this Motion Pro uh, chain adjuster. It goes on there just like that. The rod seems to be a little off to the side. I'm going to make a minor adjustment on one side to try to get it straight. Okay, that seems to be, that seems to be pretty good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the adjusters, making sure to keep the adjustment bolt in place. Oh, that was the wrong way. In place. So it doesn't move when you're tightening it. Take my adjustment tool off. And then tighten my axle to spec. There you go. Okay, I'm pretty much done. Um, now the only thing is to figure out where I'd like my GoPro mounted uh, at the rear. My tail is too, it's not stable enough. facing backwards and it should be nice and stable. Well, I'll give it a test and um, you'll see in my next video about my homestead race next week. I'm done. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.